guys welcome today again another day this is where we get to discuss matters medical in a simple language which we can always understand and like I always tell you my name is Vincent in this channel has been Vincent is not your average nurse this is where we get to discuss matters medical in a simple language which you can always understand and today we are talking about matters like hypertension and food I want to talk about the 12 foods which are, you should avoid when you have hypertension and when we talk about hypertension we are talking about high blood pressure so sit back and watch guys for those of us who have uh, who are new because our channel is really growing I want to welcome you to our channel and kindly uh, I like um, I appreciate you are liking the channel and also subscribing but kindly give us though that watch time hours I encourage you that you get, watch it for around five minutes more than five minutes then you subscribe so that uh, uh, we get those watch hours also like the video and also we have very few comments in our in our videos kindly give that nice comment down below to get us to another level so what are those 12 foods which you should avoid if you are hypertensive so if you have hypertension or you have high blood pressure it is important to manage yourself well with your diet to help control uh, your blood pressure levels and here are the 12 foods to avoid or limit and uh, most of the time we want we advocate for limiting so that you don't take them in the normal way which you 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 can always want to number one is about salt, salt and uh, salt foods so because of high sodium in the salt the because high salt con uh, contains high uh, sodium and sodium is likely to increase your blood pressure so avoid uh, tab table especially table so uh, salt soy sauce and foods like chips and also uh, pretzels and also salted nuts so that uh, so it's very important that you limit salt and salty foods number two is about processed meats uh, because daily meats bacon the bacon the sausage the hot dogs often contain high level of sodium and preservatives so kindly avoid the processed meats also number three is about canned foods or soups and vegetables because these have an added salt which uh, for preservation and flavor so opt for low sodium or no salted added versions for the canned soups and vegetables very important also guys we uh, number five number uh, number four is about frozen meals when we talk about frozen meals many frozen dinners are high in sodium so check labels of low sodium options if available, if not available, and you have other options, it's good always to avoid these frozen meals. Number five is pickles and pickled foods. So pickles and pickled foods, so these are preserved in salt, so making them high in sodium. So very important that you avoid pickles and pickled foods, so that because they are preserved in salt, and the salt is likely to increase your blood pressure. Number seven is about uh, cheese. Number six is about fast foods, especially burgers, fries, and other fast foods, which are typically high in sodium, saturated fats, and calories. So avoid these fast foods. Number seven is about cheese. Many cheeses are high in sodium and saturated fats, so choose low. Uh, sodium varieties or limit your intake guys also very important is uh, about uh, uh, bread and baked uh, goods or foods bread and baked foods or goods some breads rolls and pastries uh, or pastries uh, contain added salt and sugar which is likely to increase your blood pressure Number number nine. I know you do, most people don't like this. We're talking about alcohol. Excessive drinking can can raise blood pressure, 
So it is best to limit alcohol intake or to avoid it altogether to moderate uh, levels. So number 10 is sweets and sugar beverages. And we talk about high, in, because of the high intake can lead to weight gain, especially sweets and sugar beverages, which can increase blood pressure. So avoid soda, candy, and also desserts. Number 11, also most of the people will not like this, but uh, it is what it is, guys. We're talking about red meat. And when we talk about red meat, it's high, saturated in, it's high in saturated fat, which contributes to high blood pressure and opt for lean meat or plant-based uh, protein sources to avoid uh, the red meat, which can, uh, can bring you a lot of problems. Number 10 is also, number, 11, number 12 is about caffeinated drinks. Because excessive caffeine can raise blood pressure temporarily, so the consumption of coffee, uh, energy drinks, and certain uh, teas can really increase your blood pressure. So by managing the intake of these foods and focusing on diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and low fatty diet, you can better manage hypertension. So always consult with your healthcare provider or dietitian for personalized care, which can help you manage the, this. So guys, uh, I'm going to mention something on the management of hypertension. So one part is about the diet part of it, which we've mentioned, and that especially the 12 foods which you should avoid, I've mentioned them. So managing a, a hypertension most of the time, I think it's very important we get to mention this. It involves a lot of combination, including lifestyle changes, and if necessary, medication, and also from your diet part of it. So I'm going to mention the key strategies to manage this uh, high blood pressure and number one strategy is about dietary changes and when we talk about dietary changes we want to talk about you adopt a dash diet so this is where dietary approaches to stop hypertension that's what we call in full dash uh, dietary approaches to stop hypertension dash uh, this emphasizes on fruits vegetables whole grains lean proteins and also a low fat daily while limiting saturated fats so cholesterol and sodium so that diet is one of the approaches which can be used reducing the whole the whole sodium intake aim for less than 2300 milligrams of sodium per day so and ideally closer to 1500 mg so that you, as I recommended for, that's what is recommended for Ameri American Heart Association. The hematch uh, in the sodium, uh, 1500 mg per day. Number three is about each potassium rich foods. Uh, especially potassium, when we talk about eating potassium rich foods, uh, the, because potassium helps balance the sodium levels, this you take foods like bananas, Oranges, potatoes, spinach, and beans are good so good sources for the same. Also, number four on the dietary changes, we limit alcohol, where we keep alcohol consumption to moderate levels, up up to one drink per day for women and two for men. Avoid sugary and processed foods. This can contribute to weight gain and elevated blood pressure. So that's. Uh, on the dietary changes. Number two is about uh, the physical activity, regular exercise, very important, where you aim at 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic, aerobic exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise each week. So where activities like uh, walking, cycling, swimming or jogging are very beneficial at the end of the day, guys. So. Number two is about strength training. This includes muscle strengthening activities on two or more days a week. Also, weight management is another strategy where you get to manage your blood pressure well. So, where you aim at achieving healthy weight, where even small weight loss can significantly impact blood pressure. So, aim for a balanced diet and a regular physical activity 
to achieve healthy uh, weight. Also monitor waist circumference. Excess fat around the abdomen can increase the risk of hypertension. So men should aim for waist measurement below 40 inches and women below uh, 35 inches. So monitor waist circumference is very important. So where excess fat around the abdomen can increase risk for hypertension. So men should be aim at the measurement of below 40 inches and the women below 35 inches. Also, another strategy is about stress management. And when we talk about stress management, we talk about practice relaxation techniques. This is where I get to mention things like yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises, and progressive muscle relaxation, which can help reduce the stress at the end of the day. Also, number two is about adequate sleep. We're talking about seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night, as poor sleep can affect blood pressure. Another strategy is about monitoring and medication. So regular monitoring of your blood pressure is very important at home to keep track of the readings where you get to consult with your healthcare provider for any guidance or any interventions, guys. Also, uh, professional support, uh, that's very important where you get to regular checkups with your healthcare provider uh, for any, uh, for any uh, to monitor your condition under the just the treatment uh, as needed. And also very important, you consult with your dietitian, where a registered dietitian can provide personalized dietary advice to help manage your blood pressure. Also, we talk about lifestyle adjustment as a strategy where you quit smoking and also because smoking can raise the blood pressure and harm your heart and blood vessels. Also, number two, on the lifestyle change adjustments, we limit caffeine, we monitor your caffeine intake and see if it affects your blood pressure. So combining these strategies can really help uh, manage your, uh, and lower your blood pressure, reducing the risk of complications such as uh, heart disease and also stroke at the end of the day. Unfortunately, sometimes we have complications related to high blood pressure. So, untreated, poorly managed hypertension can lead to a variety of serious complications. Here are some of the most common uh, and severe complications associated with high blood pressure. And number one, we talk about cardiovascular complications. Number one on these cardiovascular complications, we talk about heart attack. High blood pressure can lead to uh, coronary heart disease, which can result in heart attack due to reduced blood flow to the heart muscles. Number two is about heart failure. The heart can become enlarged and weakened from the constant pressure leading to heart failure and also where heart can't burn blood effectively. Also, unfortunately, we may have also an aneurysm where increased blood pressure can cause blood vessels to weaken and bulge, potentially leading to life-threatening aneurysms, often, often which affect the biggest uh, artery, which is called the aorta. Also, another complication we have on this is stroke. And when we talk about stroke, we're talking about what we call ischemic stroke, where high blood pressure can lead to blockage in arteries that supply to the brain, causing ischemic stroke. Also, we may have hemorrhagic stroke, where it can cause blood vessels in the brain to rupture, leading to hemorrhagic stroke. Kidney damage is also another complication, where chronic uh, kidney disease can come up because hypertension damages the arteries around the kidneys, reducing the ability to function properly, leading to chronic kidney disease or a kidney failure. Eye damage is also another complication where we have what we call retinopathy and also optical neuropathy. And when we talk about retinopathy, we're talking about high blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in the retina, leading to the retinopathy, which can cause uh, vision loss. Also, optical neuropathy it can lead to nerve damage in the eyes, resulting in vision impairment. And also, we have other complications like metabolic and other complications. Metabolic syndrome comes up as one of the metabolic complications, where the cluster conditions including high blood pressure, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, excessive fat around the waist and abnormal cholesterol levels, it decreases the risk of heart disease, stroke, and also diabetes. Number two is about cognitive impairment and dementia. This is where we have hypertension can lead to blood flow to the brain, leading to cognitive decline 
and also low memory loss and increased risk of uh, dementia. Also peripheral artery uh, disease, high blood pressure can cause narrowing of arteries in the legs where arms and the stomach and also head leading to what we call peripheral artery disease which can cause pain and the mobility issues. Also another complication which comes about with the high blood pressure is what we call uh, sexual dysfunction where we have erectile dysfunction and also sexual dysfunction in women. Erectile dysfunction in men with high blood pressure can relate to what we call erectile dysfunction due to reduced uh, blood flow. Also number two is about sexual dysfunction in women where women may experience reduced libido or arousal issues to a, due to hypertension. Also another complication is about bone health and when we talk about bone health we can't leave out what we call osteoporosis. High blood pressure can cause increased uh, calcium loss uh, through urine potentially leading to weakened bones and osteoporosis so that's another uh, complication. Also the, uh, another complication which come, can come up especially during pregnancy is what we call preeclampsia. This is high blood pressure during pregnancy which can lead to preeclampsia which is, which is a very serious condition which can affect both, uh, me, uh, both mother and the baby at the end of the day. Also, uh, guys, through proper management of hypertension through lifestyle changes, uh, regular monitoring and medi medication adherence can really reduce the risk of the, these complications. So regular checkups with the healthcare provider can help us get to uh, manage these complications uh, very well. At the on the prevention strategies for uh, hypertension, uh, we have uh, adopting a health lifestyle that can help maintain normal blood pressure levels. And here are some of the strategies of, for preventing hypertension. Number one is about healthy diet, where we reduce our sodium intake as appropriate, where we aim at less than 2,300 mg per day or even better as re, uh, recommended by American Heart Association of 1500 mg per, per day. Eating potassium rich foods is a way of prevention like bananas, we talk about oranges, potatoes, spinach and beans are excellent sources. Also follow the DASH diet, when we talk about DASH diet, dietary approaches to stop hypertension, diet emphasis on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean meat and loaf low fat uh, daily while limiting saturated fats, cholesterol and refined sugars. Regular physical exercise is also a way of prevention where you aim at 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise each week with activities like walking, cycling, swimming or jogging are very beneficial. Include strength training where you incorporate muscle strengthening activities at least two days a week which is very important. Number three is about maintaining healthy weight, where weight management, where we aim of a healthy body weight, even a small amount of weight loss can really significantly reduce the blood pressure. Monitor your weight circumference, very important for men less than 40 inches, uh, for ladies less than 35 inch, uh, inches, the waist uh, circumference, very important. Limit alcohol consumption as a preventive measure where you drink moderately and this means one drink per day for women and a drink, two drinks per day for men. Avoid tobacco, quit smoking. Smoking increases blood pressure and damages the blood vessels. So seek support to quit smoking if you need it. Reduce stress. Stress, practice stress reducing techniques such as yoga, breathing exercises, meditation and other relaxation methods. Adequate sleep, aim at 7 to, to 9 hours of quality sleep each night. This can help you. Number 7, limit caffeine intake. So limit, monitor caffeine intake, be mindful of caffeine you, how much caffeine you consume, consume because this can temporarily increase your blood pressure. Regular monitoring, check your blood pressure regularly at home during a medical appointment to, and during a medical appointment to keep track of any division or changes. Health lifestyle choices like balanced diet, so focus on balanced diet that includes variety of nutrients. Also stay hydrated 
drink plenty of water, eight to eight to uh, six to nine glasses in a day is very, uh, very, very conducive. Avoid excessive sugar and processed foods, limit intake of sugar foods and beverages, as well as high blood processed, uh, high, highly processed foods. Ten professional guidance is very important. Well, you get to consult your healthcare provider to regularly check on you. Also consider dietitian to tell you what you are supposed to do to take the foods, the kind of foods you are supposed to take according to the recommended uh, classes or levels. So guys, so to prevent hypertension, we've talked about matters that diet, diet, exercise, weight and, uh, and lifestyle management that we should avoid uh, uh, avoid uh, tobacco, tobacco and alcohol, reduce stress, uh, have adequate sleep, 7 to 9 hours, monitor caffeine, the, might be mindful of the amount of caffeine we take each day. So, and also we monitor, regularly monitoring, uh, monitoring and professional guidance where we check our blood pressure regularly, consulting your healthcare provider to check up if, uh, for crucial information and also considering dietitian for personalized dietary recommendation according to your need. So guys, with these integrations of lifestyle, dietary and also sometimes medications, you get to manage the uh, blood pressure very well. That is very important, like we started from the, the video, uh, the 12 foods which you should avoid during if you have the potential, it's very important always to consider that in your life. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nurse Vin. My name is Vincent. Vincent is not your average nurse. This is where we get to discuss matters medical in a simple language where we don't use medical jargon to explain, to explain this uh, information. By liking the video, you get the larger population to receive this information and also you get YouTube to recommend us to the larger population so that the basic like but very important information like this gets to the larger population. Guys, welcome and I want to welcome you to our next video. Kind of like the video and also if you have not watched the other videos, we have uh, very many videos in this our channel. When I talk about very many, we have over 500 videos in this channel. Kindly watch the video. We have a lot of information shared here and this is very professional information which can really help your daily, daily life uh, uh, in one way or another, improve the, the quality of life because at the end of the day we want to improve your health uh, uh, quality each day. Guys, welcome. We love you very much and peace.